<laughs> Max, no. He, uh, he loves to take stuff. Good morning and welcome to another episode of OB Acres. Today is Tuesday, November 9th, and it's going to be a cleanup day. I was cleaning up last Friday. I had, I've been done for a week or so, but I was doing other stuff. And I started cleaning up my combine, and a friend of mine called, neighbor, kind of a neighbor. He's kind of semi-retired, but he sold his combine last year. And he called me because the guy that was going to do his broke down, so stupid me, I went over there and we ended up taking off I think close to 90 acres of corn and 70 acres of double, uh, I think there were 80 acres of double crop beans and uh, finished up yesterday and, uh, and I'm glad because I was worried about having a breakdown, but it went well, I didn't have any breakdowns, but it's just a lot of corn in the truck, I hauled some, hauled corn for them and it's an awesome rain combine Saturday and Sunday. But there's the beast. It's pretty dirty. But I wanna I gotta blow it. I had it all blow it off Friday at noon when he called. So I wanna get equipment put away today. I got a lot of stuff to do. I want some fall tillage to do yet, but I, it's a little it's still a little wet, I think, for some some chisel and stuff. So uh, clean the auger cart up, clean the combine up, and get it rotated. I always put that toward the back of the barn, but I do have to do some work to both of them, but I don't know when I'll do that. But, uh, play with Max. Max was cooped up most of the day, so I'll let him run a little bit. Hi, sheepies. Good morning. You see, we're less little sheep because I took my male lambs to market. So we got a few less. I gotta get a round bale out today too. Cause they're running out of grass to eat. But that's where I'm at. I'll maybe I'll throw a little video of me cleaning the combine up. I don't know if we're in high speed. We'll see. But working on cleaning all this this debris up from several years, several, several years of stone and concrete that I either from me or was brought out by other people to, to dump here. And I've been putting it back here where the bin site from my driveway. So I'll have to get some stone hall over top of it once I get it all done. But I just got there's so much to do. I got to work on the one rental house. But I got this all. I want to dig this dirt out here too and put stone in so this drains away. I don't know. I need to get some more stone. But. I've been putting the debris in there. I got Austin's buddy brought some concrete. He did the sidewalk for somebody. But I got. I'll, I'll clean the rest of that stove stone up. And I was up on the leg yesterday just for the hell of it, and I noticed the damn shaft had moved. Here they never. The factory never tightened down the set screws on the shaft on the bearings. So they're gonna they're gonna have to come out and fix that. He said he'd come out and make it right. If anything's damaged, he'd make it right. Well, there's the grain head. I could get that cleaned up. That worked good. Oh, and I got a flat tire on my header, my corn head cart. <laughs> on the way home, the damn tires are junk. They're like a low profile tire, and they really ain't made for farm equipment. So, I'll have to go fix that today sometime. But, yeah, harvest went well for me. I didn't have any breakdowns on the combine or anything. That was nice. I have one chain. The chain broke, which I knew was I should have replaced it. It broke last year. But I just put a new one. I actually it worked out good because it was it had broken. I, it was a rain day anyhow, so I had plenty of time to fix it. Just a chain, so it went well. It worked really good. 
a big tractor, my 9130, I think the hydraulic pump might be getting weak on it. It's making a noise. Lift slow. I have to have somebody look at it. I think it'll still work. If this, I had that ripper on a three point hitch, and it's a load for it, I think. Anyhow, I'll get some video of that. And Sorry, I haven't been doing any video this hard. When it was so busy, I didn't have time. I, didn't, I kept forgetting to bring the camera. I could have shot some video of a show. Well, we took, started Friday afternoon, not till after lunch. And we finished up Sunday. We took that, I think it was almost 90 acres of corn. And it was all running over 200. We were trucking like crazy. So. Anyhow, that's where we're at. I'll then get some video later. Morning. Welcome to OB Acres another day. There's me and Max here out in the shop. It's Saturday, November 13th. We're just going to do some cleaning today. As I said before, harvest was done. Um, just put, every, I put everything away yesterday. I clean the combine up. Last this week, it was a filthy mess. I, should, I was going to shoot some video of that, but I didn't. I got busy. I'm the only one doing it, so. But I cleaned it up and I rotated some equipment around. I still gotta reorganize. I have limited space to keep everything in, but I might move the combine over. Here's the storage shed. But uh, I had to disc on the 9130 yesterday or the day before and disc around the fields and I had some. I had some uh, dirt piles I moved around. I used it to level out the, the dirt afterwards. My old disc, I love that disc. I've had it forever. The old Krause, it's a good disc. But 9130's got making a noise. The hydraulic pump, I think. It doesn't when it's cold and it's real. I think the hydraulic pump's probably going out. But I'll have to look at that this winter. Take it over to somebody if I don't fix it. Max, what are you doing? But well, there's the combine. It's pretty well cleaned up. It was a filthy mess before. But I cleaned it up. Blew it off. It, took, it takes all day, pretty much. You blow it all off, and then I pressure washed it. I still got to get it in the shop maybe later and hand wash the rest of it. But I'll get the cart back here. I might move it. I might move it around. I might put the combine back in there where the cart is, and then put the cart beside it. I'm not sure yet. But I don't know if I'll do that today or not. There actually was some snow flurries this morning. But I decided to put the headers in here this year. I think it'll work out alright. I just I might like I say I might take the cart out and I got the drill back here. I did some cover crops this fall with it. But uh they say I might move the put the combine back in here where the cart is. I'm not sure yet. And I don't know if I could put the cart beside it. That might work out better. I don't know, we'll see. I put I'll probably put the disc in the other barn. I got a little room. I got the tractor, the TW in there right now. Then I got all this stuff left over from the grain bin, boxes and stuff that I gotta. Well, and I got a, I got a bunch of cardboard to burn, and the shop's just kind of a mess. I mean, I'm trying to keep up on it, but it gets a mess. And so it's a snowy day and wintry day, so got the heat on in the shop. So if I work, I see all these boxes. I got to tear down and all this cardboard. I got a bunch more in the other old shop. Bunch of cardboard and boxes in there to burn. I get that cleaned out. I can fit a couple more tractors in there. It's just full of crap right now. But the sprayer's never been winterized. There's actually a little Max. No, <laughs> Max. No, he uh, he loves to take stuff. Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Let's call Austin's manual first. Where's a plasma cutter he bought? So if anybody wants to see it, it's a hypotherm. He bought this plas CNC plasma table. 
CNC plasma cutter table that you can cut so you can program and do CNC and then you had to buy the plasma cutter separate but he got it working there they did cut out some stuff it's kind of not real user friendly but he figured out he made this side with it and he made some he made a test part so he's gonna do that but yeah I want to clean equipment I had the that tractor kind of cleaned up and then I did last weekend we did 90 acres of custom harvest corn and another 70 some acres of double crop beans for a neighbor of mine, a friend of mine, he kind of semi-retired, he's still farming but he got rid of his combine. He called me last minute and we did that. It was all weekend with a lot of corn to do. Got that done so when I clean the combine up right away so nobody else can call me. But that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to clean. I got I got a bunch of stuff to burn, but it's so nasty out and windy, I don't think I'm going to be able to burn today. But I'll just work at this. So, anyhow, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and this kind of a harvest wrap up. But I have my bins are full and they had to fix my leg the other day. Um, I went up there the other day just to look around. And I noticed the shaft had moved on the top of the the, pull, the top hub or the drive hub. Here the, the bearings were never tightened down from the factory. And it, luckily I caught it. It did eat into the guard a little bit, but I didn't hurt anything. But uh, they come and fixed it the other day. They were said they could never seen anything like that. The, the quality control at these places are terrible anymore. But I got some stuff, like I said, I got some more stuff to put away and clean up. But that's what I'm going to be doing today. So I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll catch you on the next one.